Ever since the Orioles declined a five-year lease extension on Camden Yards in February, there have been questions about the Orioles' future in Baltimore. And tonight, Governor Westmore is joining with the team to try to ease any concerns for O's fans. WJC's Live, Alex Glaze is outside Camden Yards to explain what the governor had to say. Alex. Well, Vic and Denise, for months, state leaders, and, along with local leaders and Orioles ownership, have repeatedly said that the Orioles are not leaving Baltimore City. Now, in February, the Orioles declined a five year extension of their lease at Camden Yards, but CEO John Angelos said that he would like to see a new lease signed as an all-star break gift for everyone. But well, all-star break ends tomorrow, and as of right now, no new lease has been signed. I'd love to have that as an all-star break gift for uh, everybody really in the community. Oriole CEO John Angelos made that statement at the start of spring training in February. Now, the all-star break gift failed to be delivered. But for months, Orioles ownership has repeatedly said the O's are not leaving Baltimore, but some fans still feel uneasy. Look what happened in Oakland. Headed off to Vegas. Uh, why would you not give some reassurance to the fans to the city that your O's are going to be here? In a joint statement released today, Angelos and Governor West Moore said they are determined to get a deal done. So what's the holdup? Andy Koska is the Orioles beat writer for the Baltimore Banner. Most of the hang up from, from my understanding at this point uh, is not so much to do with the stadium itself, but with this grander idea that John Angelos has for redevelopment of the area around Cameron Yards. In their joint statement, Angelos and Governor Moore said that progress has been made on a vision to expand and revitalize the Camden Yards campus. In March, Angelos and Governor Moore visited the Battery Atlanta, a year-round entertainment experience outside of Truist Park, home of the Atlanta Braves. This is not about leaving Baltimore. I'm going to say this again. Uh, John Angelos, the Orioles are not leaving Baltimore City. They're going to be there at Camden Yards, and we want to see at Camden Yards what you see around other ballparks. More development, more activation, more things happening. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott told me that he has 99 problems, but the Orioles signing a new lease is not one of them. The Orioles' 30-year lease with the Maryland Stadium Authority is set to expire on December 31st. And according to our media partners at the Baltimore Banner, once a new lease is signed, the Orioles will be eligible to receive $600 million for stadium improvements from the state. In downtown Baltimore, outside Camden Yards, Alex Glaze, WJZ.